Welcome to the Mentally Whole Podcast. I am your host, Lauren Green. This podcast is a safe place for us to have weekly discussions about mental health, Christ, personal development, and the tools to live our best lives. Please stay tuned for a new episode. Hey y'all, welcome to another episode of the Mentally Whole Podcast, and I am your host, Lauren Green. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and rate the podcast, because when you do those things, I know that you are enjoying the content that I'm giving out. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the mailing list, because I would like to start Um, sending emails to my listeners and also don't forget our new episode day is Wednesdays so look out for new episodes on Wednesdays right okay so let's get into our trending topics so the first topic I want to discuss is the explosion that happened in West Baltimore if you don't know I am from Baltimore uh, born and raised and you know three row homes were destroyed in this explosion they still aren't sure what caused the explosion um, but my heart and prayers go out to the victims and the families of the people who died um, because of this explosion um, it's so crazy because you know usually in Baltimore you don't have things like ex- explosions happening Um, So hopefully they figure out soon like what happened because it's really a really sad story. Very, very sad. Um, The next thing I want to talk about in trending topics is that I saw on the news last night that they are doing a Whitney Houston biopic, like an actual full fledged film for like the movie theater. And I love Whitney Houston. Um, You know, I'm just I love her. And I hope the biopic is good. I hope they pick like an unknown actress to play her. Um, Cause I don't, I don't really know any singers that I would want to like play her right now. Um, but yeah, they're going to do a Whitney Houston biopic and I'm here for it. Okay. Here for it. Um, another thing I want to talk about is Angela Simmons. If you don't know Angela Simmons, she is the daughter of Rev Run from the group Run DMC. You know, her relationship struggles and issues have been in, you know, the been on the internet a lot lately. But I think that she has a new boyfriend that she posted the other day on Instagram. And I was like, yes, Angela, post your boo on Instagram. Um, because, you know, recently, like a few years ago, her child's father was murdered or killed um you know which was very probably very traumatic for her um but yeah shout out to her for finding love in this season huh amen and the last thing this is like breaking news uh joe biden our presidential candidate for this year has announced his running mate he announced that senator harris will be his vice president candidate and i i'm excited about that you know because if they win you know that will be a very historic moment you know there will be an african american woman of color um in the white house as a vice president so you know i just yeah i'm excited about that so i hope you know, Joe and Senator Harris win because we need a change, um, in our country. And so I hope the election goes the way I want it to go, but we never know in these, we never know, um, until the election comes. All right. So we are going to put a pin in that and move on to our discussion of the day. Um, so today we are talking about the pressures of comparison. Right. I feel like since we have social media, since we have Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, all the things, I feel like comparison is way more prevalent um, than before. Like keeping up with the Joneses, keeping up with other people, um, trying to compare your life with other people is very um, is very prevalent today. Right. 
So what does compare mean? So compare means to estimate, measure, or note the similarity or dissimilarity between, right? So when you compare yourself with someone or something, you are estimating, measuring, and noting the differences and similarities between the two, right? So for example, say I see somebody on social media and I'm like oh I don't have a husband like her or I don't have a boyfriend like her or I don't have this or I don't have that you know you're really taking note of what they have that you don't right um you can compare your relationship to somebody else's relationship you can compare um how far along are you with your finances you can compare um, achievements, you know, you can compare the list goes on, you can compare whatever, honestly, these days, right? But the backside or the negative side to comparison is that you comparing yourself to other people might make you feel envious, it might make you feel disappointed, it might make you feel depressed and angry, specifically disappointed because you might feel like you're not far along in life as you should be. Right. You might feel jealous of what somebody else has and and you don't have that thing that they have. Right. Right. You get it? Yeah. So here's some tips to deal with comparison. Comparison. Yeah. So the first tip is be aware of what causes you to compare your life with others. Like what part of your life are you constantly comparing right? Is it your finances? Is it your relationship? Is it your achievements? Is it how you look? Like what, what, what is it? Like identify the thing that you are comparing yourself, the area that you're comparing, um, comparing the most, right? Number two, acknowledge your accomplishments. Acknowledge what you have done in your life, right? Acknowledge the things that you have achieved, you know, because sometimes their plan, their plan B is successful for them, but you might be at plan C or D, right? Right. Another thing, practice gratitude, you know, be thankful for the things that you have in your life. When you start practicing gratitude and being thankful, you don't have time to worry about what other people are doing with their lives. Right? Number four, understand the person's journey to get where they are. Nobody is perfect. Like you do not know what it took for somebody to get where they are. Point blank, period. Like we can compare all we want to, but you don't know what that person had to go through to get there. You're like, oh, well, I want this like they have, or I want that like they have. You do not know what it took for them to get to that place in their life. Yeah, remember that when you start comparing yourself to other people or becoming um, envious or jealous of what they have. You don't know their story. The last tip is... Instead of comparing, find inspiration for your life. Instead of saying, oh, I wish I had what they had or, oh, my life isn't like their life. Find inspiration. Find something in their life that you can add to yours. Like, hey, maybe they have a good time management skill. Maybe they have good discipline. Maybe they are walking in their purpose. Maybe they're achieving their goals. Maybe they have... I don't know, a workout plan, find inspiration for your life instead of comparing, ask questions, say, Hey, how did you do that? Or how did you get here? Like you got to get out of your, get out of that box of comparing yourself because, you know, I read, I was listening to a series yesterday and I'll leave it in the show notes. And one of the things that he said was comparison is like a cancer to purpose discovery right you're worried about what everybody else is doing you're worried about you know how they're living their lives but you haven't lived out your purpose right comparison is the thief of joy we say the thief of joy that's not in the bible or anything like that but 
when you compare yourself to other people, you are stealing that your joy is being stolen. You're not happy. Like when you when you compare yourself all the time, you're not as happy as you should be. Right? You only have one life to live. And you're spending all of your life comparing it to other people. That's no way to live. Right? So get out of your head. Stop comparing yourself. Live your life. Right? Be authentically you. Be who God called you to be. Right? Right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this short episode. Um, I will leave that sermon that I listened to in the show notes. And I hope you guys have a great week.